Hi, this is Mark from Wikidesign. In this video, I'm gonna show you a cool way to search for keywords on a specific website inside Google. Uh, the good thing about this is you can use this and it's 100% free. You don't have to pay for any other third-party tools or anything like that. This is all built into Google. Most people probably don't know this, but Google gives you a lot of different parameters to use inside their search engine. So you're not just stuck to using just generic keywords and that's all you get. So this is a short little list of a few different ways that you can search for, as you can see here, you can search for social media, certain prices, hashtags. I mean, the list goes on and on. And I'll link to this website right here. This is a really good website where they go over 40 commands that really do help with your SEO. So in this video, I'm gonna cover this one right here, how you can search for specific keywords on other people's websites or your own internal website. So let's just jump right into it. Here's an example of us trying to search for the keywords wiki design on the website elementor.com. So you just go to Google, type in site colon, whatever domain you want to crawl, and then you can put quotes or no quotes with your keywords. So let's go ahead and take these quotes off of here. So this search parameter is just saying, let's search for the keywords wiki design on elementor.com. So let's hit enter and you can see right here, there's seven results. And if you kind of go through, you can see this is from the form, which they recently launched. Uh, we do have, let me open this up right here. So you can see right here, um, what you can do is just uh, control F and just type in the words wiki design and see if it comes up on the front end. And so you can see right here, they use one of our quotes on their website. So that's what this parameter did is it searched elementor.com and looked for anything with wiki design. So you can see it right here. Um, the form, let's say we have another page where they did the same thing, where they used our keywords, and you can see right here, so we're on two pages, which is good. And here it's listing some different form results. Uh, I did wanna show you this. I did find something very unique right here. So you can see right here, it found this website that Elementor has on their blog, but if you look right here, it's missing the word wiki. So this is gonna be very helpful right here. Let me open up this page in a new tab wait for this to load. So now that page has loaded. Now let's do a search for wiki design on the front end. And you're gonna see right here that it comes back with zero results. So I found this really interesting. I even went into the source code and did a search for wiki design and I still didn't find anything. So here's something that a lot of people don't know or even cover. And so let me go down here and let me show you what Google is actually finding with our keywords wiki design. So if you go down here, so if you look right here, what they did is we have a video on our Vimeo account where inside this blog post, they just referenced our video right here on this image. And if you look right here, you see where it says wiki design, that's what Google found. So like I said, not a lot of people know this, but Google can and they do search words inside of images. Because if I right click right here, you could see it's an image. This is a really good opportunity to think about your images on your website. So if you know that you're gonna have blog posts that might get shared across the internet, try to add your logo or best case scenario, your keywords in there. So maybe wiki design, or if you have some other keywords, add it on the image, wait a few months and see if it comes up in the Google search results like this. So I did find this uh, very helpful knowing that Google is indexing keywords inside of images. So if I go back to that search and let's put quotes around wiki design. So what the quotes mean is it's only going to uh, return the results if it's an exact match. So you can see right here, it's the seven results. And so if I do this, it only comes back as five results. And one of the pages missing is that one I just showed you right here, because those words wiki design aren't directly inside the source code. So this is a really unique way to kind of figure out which keywords are an exact match or not an exact match on a website. So let's do a few other examples. Um, we also do a lot of tutorials on CrocoBlock. So I just wanted to figure out if CrocoBlock is indexing our pages anywhere. And as you can see right here, they are. And I didn't even know about this until today. So as you can see, CrocoBlock has a really good resources and tutorials page right here. And if you look down here, you could just do a search for wiki design. And up here, you can see that those keywords are mentioned five times. So let me just hit enter. So it looks like right here, we have a tutorial of Jet Appointment when we did that. So they just went ahead and added this to the website. We didn't 
know about it or they reach out or anything like that. So it's a really good way to figure out which websites are linking back to you and your content. Now let's do a search for the Holy Grail. If you can get backlinks from google.com with your keywords, uh, that's a win. So I did a search for google.com and then the keywords wiki design. And as you can see right here, you can kind of get an idea of how many different places you can have your keywords or your business name inside the Google ecosystem. So you can see right here that if people uh, leave a review, so this right here was a review from a client of ours, and she mentioned our company name Wiki Design in her review. So reviews are a great place to get keywords. Uh, you could see right here, um, Elementor, we did a podcast um, years ago with Elementor. So if you just do a search for, so back in 2018, we did um, an interview with Elementor and they had the keywords inside the Google podcast description here. So you can get an idea how many different places you, your website's gonna get mentioned. Um, we did create a really good tutorial back in 2019 and 2021 on how to use Google My Maps. So you can see right here that different colleges or educational websites are linking back to my video. So that's one of them uh, down here as well. They link to a lot of different resources for Google Maps. And that's our video right here. And using this command, you're not limited to just external websites. You can actually do a search on your own internal website to see how many different pages that Google sees when you type in a keyword. So here we are, we typed in uh, site colon wikidesign.com. And then I wanted to just put in quotes, how many different pages are referencing the keyword Elementor. And as you can see, we have 266 results. And so these are all different blog posts, videos, or standard pages that we've created. And the thing I like about this system is you can figure out which pages um, Google puts a little more weight on. So I'm not 100%, but I'm thinking that the higher these pages are, the more relevant it is to a search intent or anything like that. So Google's gonna put a little more weight on these pages. So like this page right here, for example, um, this is a whole uh, blog post and video on how to use uh, Elementor custom skin. And so if you look right here, if I type in the word Elementor, you're gonna see that we have this keyword mentioned 29 times on this page on the front end. So it's definitely heavy because the name of the plugin is called Elementor Custom Skin and we talk about it. So that they put a lot of weight on that blog post. Um, we also are launching a page right here where it's a lot of different resources for all of our Elementor pages. So you can see in the URL, we have Elementor, we have Elementor here, Elementor's all over this page. So Google, I think, is putting a little more weight on the pages that do reference that keyword quite a bit. And if you reference back to the Kingsta article I have here, they go a little more in detail on how you can utilize the strategy for different internal linking, you know, SEO. So this is definitely a good read right here. And like I said, there's a lot of different things that you can use, um, not only this parameter, but tons of other different search parameters. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you'd like me to cover more of these search parameters in future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new videos like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.